Hello friends, this video on soil part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Yes. Question number 7. Razia conducted an experiment in the field related to the rate of percolation. She observed that it took 40 minutes for 200 milliliter of water to percolate through the soil sample. Calculate the rate of percolation. So how do we calculate how fast water is percolating through a soil sample? If this rate of percolation is equal to the amount of water that percolated in milliliter divided by the time taken by the water to percolate. So this time taken should be in minutes. So based on that, looking at this question, amount of water is 200 milliliters and time taken is 40 minutes. So if you see it is 5. So this percolation rate is going to be 5 milliliter per minute. Question number 8. Explain how soil pollution and soil erosion could be prevented. Now as we were discussing these are two threats to the quality of soil. So it is very important that we protect the soil either from getting washed away by wind or water that is erosion or from getting contaminated with undesirable toxic components that is pollution. So some of the things that we can do is stop deforestation because if there are more plants in fact stop cutting down trees and start planting more and more trees. If there are more trees, the chances of erosion is very, very less because the roots of the trees will firmly hold the soil. So that's one thing. The second thing is stop using plastics because plastics are non-biodegradable. So the more we use plastics, the more wastes increase in our environment. So plastics do not go anywhere. It just remains within the environment. And disposing these plastics here and there pollutes the soil. So if we stop using plastics, it can reduce soil pollution to a large extent. Plant more trees. As I said, more trees will also help to reduce soil erosion. Waste segregation because disposing wastes here and there cause soil pollution. So we, we throw wastes wherever we like. So that is not correct. We should segregate the wastes and then we should dispose them at the right places. Proper disposal of industrial wastes because industrial wastes are extremely toxic. So it is very important that they are not just disposed of in open areas because in open areas they are actually in direct contact with the ground and they end up contaminating the soil. Excessive use of insecticides to be avoided because too much of insecticides or pesticides pollute the soil. It actually increases the content of chemicals in the soil and that's how it degrades the quality of soil. Question number nine. Give one word for each of them. Plantation prevents it. Plantation means planting more trees. So if we plant more trees, what will be prevented? soil erosion because if more trees are there their roots will firmly hold the soil and therefore the soil will not get washed away by water so it prevents soil erosion use should be banned to avoid soil pollution so what should be banned if we do not want soil pollution plastics or you can say polythene polythene or plastics so these should be banned so that soil pollution can be reduced Type of soil used for making pottery. So all those uh, earthen materials, these they are made up of clay soil because the water retention capacity of clay soil is maximum. Living organism in the soil. A lot of organisms live in the soil. One common example is earthworm. In desert, soil erosion occurs through. In desert, we do not have water. So water cannot cause soil erosion. But wind can cause. So wind can be a reason in desert. Clay and loam are suitable for cereals like which type of cereals prefer clayey soils and loamy soils? That is which type of cereals prefer soils with high water retention capacity? Exactly. Wheat is one such example. Whereas rice is another example of a cereal which would prefer more clayey soil because it wants water logging. It wants more water. Excess water is needed. This type of soil can hold very little water, that is sandy soil, that's because water retention is very less, all the soil gets drained very quickly through the big spaces in between the big particles. 
collective name for layers of soil. All the layers of soil, that is O horizon, B horizon, A horizon, they are all together called as soil profile. So when we talk about the collectively, collectively when we talk about the various horizons of soil that is called soil profile. So that entire vertical section of soil starting from O horizon till C horizon that is together termed as soil profile. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson on soil and I hope you would have understood that how important soil is and uh, how does the structure of the soil look like and how soil get its special properties. So uh, with this uh, we will conclude this lesson and see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.